Hey, and we're back with the Castlevania playthrough. And uh, this is how things are looking. We're now level 7. We've uncovered 15% now of the uh, area. I don't think I've got anything new, just more leather armour. Not there's any way to get rid of that. And now we're going to explore more of this place. I don't think we've been this way. Oh, there's something here, isn't there? Huh? Let's be up the other side then. You just walked into trouble there. Oh! Electric skeletons! Getting new enemies all the time, but yeah, those ones don't seem too bad as long as you're quick. Oh, so that's a new. Oh, will I respawn that electric one though? And I think we've got to walk past him actually. Oh no, we don't. Is he chucking a rib bone? Or is it just... I think it's a rib bone in it that's meant to be. Prefer my ribs with some meat on them and hot sauce. Right, let's get out of it. Let's get on with this. Where are we? Oh, oh we've uncovered an ass. Hearts. Unless there's a wing, uh, a pair of wings, I don't think we're getting up there. Unless there's a triple jump. Or the ability to fly. But uh, I doubt it. So I think we're going to have to go back now. Level up again, that's good. Just ignore that. Then again, you never know when one of those. Ah, uh, that's what it is. Those things are the new poisoners of the game. Alright, so we've been that way. Guys, ass. And I think it's up this way now. So we've not explored up here yet either. A cheeky, cheeky picture. Let's just check around the right track. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, we're not standing still. It's. Oh, we got him just as he was at his. He had his little proverbial gun cock there. across a lot of areas now with obstacles in them. So basically it's just learning the attacks of the enemies and uh, working around them. It's only usually tricky when you've got more than one enemy at once. Oh, more secret areas. more leather armour than we can uh, shake a stick at. It's a shame we haven't got our own place to go and store it all in. Like uh, that's what I tend to do. And um, what's it called? Oblivion or uh, Skyrim. I end up storing vast hordes of armour. Oh. Will of the Wisps. It's another uh, Elder Scrolls uh, reference there. Will of the Wisps. Let's just see what's down here. Oh, electro shocking. Uh... So there's a lower level. I don't want that. I don't want the holy water. Oh, I can almost reach that. As is. Right, so let's go back. Do the platforming bit. Oh, that was a bit of a blind jump then. 
Is that a lip? Yeah. There's nothing up there though. It's a bit of a red herring. What's along here then? He's got a bit of an uh, one chuck on him. Oh, that thing almost knocked us all off the uh, platform there. Now I can't see where I'm going here. That seems like another area to uh, explore. So this is actually outside the castle. Is this a secret-ish area? No? No. So those things do actually do things, do actually attack, but uh, uh Stupid brains get in my way. Daggers aren't really useful. Oh! I'm just fallen. Thought we could check if this was anything. Oh. So it's a little bit of an outside bit. Now where are we? That seems like another big drop, so we're best off looking over here. Dash for those guys. So, apart from having a last little bit of twangy guitar music, yeah, we're not really finding anything. Look, we've uncovered more of the area anyway. So, we'll go down this way now. Is this the only place we can go? Oh. That was a long drop. Oh, and they seem like the new born heads. Devil Towers. Look like old man's head. Oh. It's a bit a bit a little bit more animation as well than those things. The game by Vance was actually pretty impressive, I mean it didn't quite live up to the old like with any console, there was a lot of hype involved. It's just ex exactly the same though as the PSP. Uh, them saying it was going to be a, like a SNES, handheld SNES, I don't think it was quite that powerful. But, it did have some nice looking games on it, like Castlevania, you can't say it's a terrible looking game, it's... It is not too bad, but um... You could say that about the PSP, that was meant to be like a PS2 handheld and it, you know they did some amazing things with it, like um, Liberty City Stories was amazing, I mean who would have ever thought you'd be playing a game like that in your hand back in the day, that would have been unheard of, but then again so would the PS, so would the Game Boy Advance though, if you go a little bit further back, I mean the first one was the the game, but it's come a long way since then. And that was just being black and white. And that was... Despite the fact of it being black and white, at first, when I was younger, I thought, oh, that's going to be rubbish being black and white. There's actually some great games for that. I remember um, borrowing my friend's game by pocket, which again, that was only black and white. And uh, he had Super Mario Land. It was either that or Super Mario Land 2, and that was great fun. I really got into that game, and uh, so it just goes to show the graphics don't really mean anything as long as the game's got playability. They can still be relevant. Just like with this game, I mean, I'm playing this and having a blast at the minute, just reliving uh, my old game by Vance days. 
Oh, there seems to be an outside bit there to that tower. Clinking man. And we've leveled up again. Those don't seem to be too hard, they seem like zombies, kind of. That's a wall jumping bit. The only bad thing is I'm gonna think I'm gonna spend a lot of time a bit of time out here. And I don't think it doesn't look like there's going to be a safe spot. But we found a heart max increase. That's another wall jumper, in, I think. Which we don't have yet. So it's back over this way now, I think. So let's go through here and see what we're facing. Yeah, afterwards I know you get a sword, there's a sword armour, and I think he does magic or something like that. I'm surprised I haven't come across another, uh, another card yet. Because we're in new areas now, and I think there's so many in each of the areas, but it, it can be very trial and error. Because it can take you a long, long time to get some. I'll beat him easy. It's, sometimes there's a bit of varying the attack as well. That's why it always pays to check these walls out, to check and uh, to spend a bit of time with your whip. We're gonna just avoid in them, but it doesn't have to do too much damage. They're not actually too damaging. Ah, oh, he was at an awkward angle then. Yeah, but still no card. I'm not expecting to find another card by now. I don't know if you actually see what it, uh, if you can actually see if. Oh yeah, next. We've got 900 and something for our next experience level. So basically now we're rounding up. Coming back on ourselves. Oh, the only thing with those is I don't like jumping down them. In case it's hard to get back up to where you are, so I'll go along here. Oh, that was a hit for hit. Like an old... Uh, fighting game or something there. Oh, I'll just check if there's an uh... Oh, and I failed that. Not that time. Oh, and that's a boss. You can tell by the blue door already that's a boss, so let's see if there's an uh... Beat the three heads. Oh, I'm looking for a save point around here. I've already been through here, no? Ah, oh, yes, triple hit. That was like the Three Stooges, that! Alright, well, I don't want to go through that door there, just in case I get killed. back the way we came into it, so we'll try this way then. Ah, oh, it's just another little drop. Alright, and obviously there's another 
Small so shop. I'm looking for a save point now. Ah, here we go. Save room. So we know now that up that little bit, there's another going to be another boss. Oh, and also that looks like a secret room on the other side of this save room. So I think I will maybe save this video where we are, and I'll come back and maybe try the boss. I don't know. I'll maybe do a little bit more of exploring. But uh, we'll see anyway. Uh, well, it's been fun, guys, but this is all I've got time for on this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys later.